What's your example of sexism in everyday life? My father received an endless stream of sexist bullshit when he chose to stay at home with me. My mother was very insistent on no daycare, and her job had better benefits than ads did. His friends gave him lots of shit for babysitting. Had a customer drop a wine bottle by my checkout lane it was actually quite impressive. He dropped it, almost caught it on the top of his foot, and then it bounced off. Anyways, I was over sweeping up the broken glass when another customer comes over and starts scolding me for doing a man's job I'm female. I'm sweeping. Even if jobs are gender specific you've got your stereotypes backwards. When my wife is out she is frequently asked if you're here who is looking after your baby. Me. The baby's father. That's who. I'm a fifth year medical student. I'll be a doctor in less than two years. People still refer to me as nurse and the other men that I'm in the same room with are called doctors automatically, as long as they're wearing a white coat. I highly respect nurses. I just hate this type of presumption. I work at a liquor store and you would be amazed how many men have to justify purchasing wine or really anything that isn't beer or whiskey by saying it's for their wife slash girlfriend. I say let people get drunk on whatever they want. End drink shaming in 2020. My husband is a primary caregiver for our children right now. I'm the breadwinner. The school calls me. The teacher wants to talk to me. The other parents get antsy when he arranges a play date. I've had people assume that my kids are poorly raised or supervised because of my working hours. I live in a fairly progressive place and it's a bit WTF on a regular basis. Yes, when they were babies, I stayed home. Now, I'm the one working more and he is home more often than I am. We are equals and partners. He doesn't need to ask me what brand of snacks I feed the kids or whatever the issue is because he is a competent adult and parent. I'm not a bad mom for working the way I do to provide for my kids. Assuming I know nothing and you can take advantage of me when I bring my car to the shop. I know I don't need that $1000 flux capacity you're trying to sell me. When I first met my dad in my early 20s, he frustrated me so much. I had a boyfriend at the time who didn't drive, never had driven a car, and didn't know a damn thing about them. My father knew this. He would still say things like, Oh, have you checked your oil lately? Yeah. I checked it. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe have your boyfriend look at it too. Why? I know how to check my oil. I checked it a few days ago, and it was fine. Yeah. I know. But, have him check it anyway. The guy never drove. I ended up teaching him how to drive toward the end of our relationship. But at the time he had never been behind a wheel, checked oil or tire pressure, or even pumped gas. He'd also tell me about certain roads which were bad for cops giving tickets and he'd make a fanned comments like, such and such road over there is just awful for tickets. Awful. You can be doing only 3 over the speed limit, and they'll pull you over. It's ridiculous. Of course. I'm sure your boyfriend knows all about that area. No. Because he doesn't drive. He always automatically assumed whatever guy I was with knows everything about cars and driving and whatnot, and that I was completely clueless. He still does stuff like that all the time with my husband. My husband can drive at least, but he still assumes my husband knows more than I do on any given subject. I work in a hospital, and it is surprising how often female doctors are decredentialed in everyday conversation. They are referred to by their first names or nicknames, while the male physicians are referred to as drive. Last name. It is just weird. I'm a woman that's decent at fixing the ultra basic tech issues at work like computer not connecting to the DV right, printer crap, formatting stuff, etc. And I was never allowed to fix things and just had to watch the men allowed to help same work status men. Not it guys fail repeatedly until one man told the man that ran the store he had to let me fix things cause they were wasting too much time. I would basically beg to be allowed to help out of sheer frustration. So it's not like boss man didn't know I could fix stuff. Once we sat through a whole financials meeting with no visual on the numbers because one of the men allowed to help plugged both ends of the HDMI into the TV. 
my worth in the workplace being partly due to my skills, but mainly how I look. I faced criticism from bosses saying that I'd just be prettier if I did such and such. It really annoys me that they care about my physical appearance than my competence at work. Never heard that for my male colleagues. But I'm guessing that similar sexist behavior will exist. Try to plan a wedding as a groom. Literally no one will talk to you without the bride present. Sometimes they won't even talk to you if she is present. I travel for work and people make assumptions that it's inherently bad for my toddler to be without me for 3 to 7 day stretches once a month. They never say that when it's her dad out of town. You all had to upvote this and draw the wackers into my comments you lovely wankers. My 34 year adult brother thought that when he moved in with me I would just cook all of his meals and clean up after him. I'm his older sister, not his maid. Dinners with my family. Dad gets mad at me for relaxing and not helping cook slash clean. Both brothers are also relaxing and nothing is said to either of them. I'm weekend bar staff at a pub. The current manager and the previous two were all women. The customers won't listen if they say or said anything. Instead looking at me, I just say, she's in charge. Don't look at me and it really confuses them. I'll admit, I probably take more of an nonsense approach to unruly customers than they do slash did, and being sometimes the only guy on the bar I'm looked to to throw someone out, maybe that's where it comes from. It annoyed the hell out of the last two when they weren't listened to, and I'm sure it annoys the current manager too. So I try my best to make sure I make customers aware that, just because I'm the only, or sometimes one of two blokes on the bar, that doesn't mean I'm in charge. Women and heart attacks, including pain resulting in massive heart scarring. You're too young to have a heart attack. This has killed plenty of young women. And others were found to have severe scarring before 50. Tests show no threat in the blood either, but visuals show the severe scarring. And one woman grabbed equipment so the nurse could see she was right in the middle of a heart attack. Doctors, take that chest pain seriously. Hysterical women should be an outdated phrase. As a woman, my pain doesn't get treated seriously. I had very bad lower belly pain recently. The problem is that it coincided with my period, but it wasn't cramps. This I knew. Just the worst pain I've ever felt. I went to the doctor and they dismissed it as just cramps. So I waited for my period to be over and went back to the doctor. Turns out I had a life-threatening infection that I had to get surgery for. Which I could have gotten sooner if somebody had bothered to check for it instead of dismissing me. Pink and blue collar jobs and how insanely difficult it is to get hired for one if you are the wrong sex. My mill tried to get a job at the local paper mill and was straight up told they only hired men. This is true for many of the higher paying rough lines of work like logging, vehicle repair, etc. Men. Try getting hired as a secretary or teacher. Most don't even want to because the pay is shit, but they would still have difficulty. My doctor apologized to my husband, not me, for an error in my treatment that put my vagina out of business for a while. I was just sitting there like, my husband hated the guy before, but that solidified it. I immediately switched you know. People are genuinely surprised when I say that my husband does the ironing. Not having baby changing stations in men's bathrooms. Like what if they're out with the baby and the baby needs a diaper change suddenly and their wife isn't with them. My old job was pretty terrible when it came to sexual harassment. The owner was a sexist pig and hired his even more sexist best friend to be an incredibly useless maintenance guy. Off the top of my head. Always standing way too close to female employees. Standing at the end of the prep line staring at the mostly teenage girls working. Propositioned my FWB. Made a few comments about how she's a slut to her face. Whipped the retail manager in the but with a wet hose. Knocked over boxes a retail manager was carrying. So he could stare at her ass. Accidentally touched the retail managers. But when squeezed past her in a narrow aisle. Loudly made comments about wanting the retail manager and her 16 year old employee to suck him off. 
touching female employees on the top of their heads for absolutely zero reason, rubbing the shoulders of an employee that did not want him to touch them. That's all off the top of my head. There's more. I reported everything I witnessed. I reported him many many times. Nothing ever came of it. I don't work there anymore. I'm looking into getting the media involved. I'm a property manager, and in my line of work we have to deal with a lot of disgruntled home ER winners. Our staff is split about 50 over 50 between men and women, and everyone is pretty great at their job. It's not uncommon for someone to contact us completely irate over something trivial, and simply not accept the explanation for the problem and solution from a woman on our team. When they're all out of ideas on how to appease the home ER winner, a woman on my team can transfer the call to me, a guy. And when I give the exact same explanation my colleague just did, the owner will suddenly accept it and be content.